Look at that, that's beautiful. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are riding Azusa Canyon and this is actually my first time riding this canyon so we are going at a very mellow pace because I don't know the canyon very well but that's totally fine with me because I am enjoying the scenery. I'm loving every minute of it and today is a gorgeous day to ride. So even though I'm wearing a one-piece suit today I wanted to talk about women's motorcycle jackets and the reason for that is because in the past, it's been pretty difficult finding a stylish jacket that also offers really good protection. It's still a little difficult. However, the situation has gotten a lot better. There are a lot more choices out there. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my top three choices for motorcycle jackets for women. I've had pretty good success with um, brands like Dainese, Revit, and Alpine Stars. So my top three choices will be from those brands. So let's get on to trying on some jackets. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about three of my favorite motorcycle jackets. Now these are jackets that I absolutely love. I've owned them for quite a while so I can tell you all about them. We have the Revit Xena the Dainese Mike and the Alpine Stars Renee. Now full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I was not paid to make this video. However, with the exception of the Revit Xena, the other two jackets were sent to me free of charge. Regardless, I would never endorse products that I didn't absolutely love. So without further ado, let's try on some jackets. I wanna hold your body close to me Take you where you've never been So I won't break your heart and I won't let you down jacket that I'm going to talk about is the Revit Xena. Now I absolutely love this jacket. I've owned it for about three years now. It's made of beautiful premium cowhide leather and it's actually part of a two-piece set. So the jacket can attach to the pants, you can take it to the canyons or you can take it to the track. It's got CE rated protection in the elbows and the shoulders and it's also uh, got a little pocket on the inside where you can insert a back protector, which I highly recommend. It's got a little bit of perforation on the outside up here and then also on the stretch panels, but I definitely wouldn't, rec wouldn't consider this a summer jacket. The fit is more of a race fit, so it's a little kind of form fitting and that's okay with me because that's the type of jacket that I look for. Okay, so this is the Dainese Mike leather jacket. Now I've already done a full uh, in-depth review about it, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but if you'd like to watch that uh, full review, I will link to it in the description. This jacket is also made of premium cowhide and it's got CE rated armor in the elbows and the shoulder, in the shoulders. It doesn't have uh, any perforation on the outside, but it does come with a 3D bubble liner on the inside, which will keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So the look of this jacket is more of a casual fit. So you wouldn't really wear it to the canyons and you definitely wouldn't wear it to the track. It comes in a black version and a brown version and this is the black version. Last but not least, we have the Alpine Stars Renee and I adore this jacket. I think I've had it the longest um, of, out of all three jackets. I've had it about um, six or seven years. I think I got it when it first came out 
So this jacket is super unique because it's made of denim and leather, so it makes it super stylish, but it's got really good protection too. It has CE rated armor in the elbows and the shoulders, and it's also got a pocket on the inside where you can add a back protector. I always recommend getting one of those. I've actually crashed in this jacket, so it's got some minor scuffs, but it wasn't a huge crash, and as you can see, it held up really well. All right, everyone, that concludes the video on my top three favorite jackets that I own. If you found it useful, please give it a like as it does support my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.